This firm is an aircraft carrier parked in the middle of our community in which anyone, any walk of life can come through these doors and we will be able to give them the ability to launch off any type of attack toward anyone who has wronged them. We are the go-to firm for the little man. to watch for any dog lover, crying, whining, and dogs that appear to be abused at the hands of trainers at Cypress Arrow Canine Training Academy in Lena, Louisiana. Although they're out of Rapides Parish, many from the Metro Baton Rouge area send their dogs there for a month-long obedience training. Casey Gonzalez of Denham Springs dropped her two babies to them in mid-June and picked them up in July. She says no one said a word to her. She paid and left. That is, until last night. She just wants to be held. Well, at first I didn't realize that it was a video of my dog, so I told her that I don't want to see the video, that I'll take her word for it, I won't use that place again. But she said that it was my dog, so I said okay. And she sent me the video and... Um, it was really sad um, to see somebody do that to her because she's so sweet, you know. But um, and then I got really mad because I did trust those people with my dog. Yazzie is one of her two dogs she dropped off, a chocolate lab who turned one while she was at Cypress Arrow. Gonzalez says this is her dog on the video. She wasn't listening as well as they wanted her to. Obviously, she doesn't like the word down because she was being thrown to the ground every time it was said. What are they? I don't know what they're... I'm trying to figure out what the purpose of them doing this. We showed the videos to a USPCA national canine trainer, Craig Tibbetts, who is also a retired police officer and trained police canines. Shocking. That right there, if that's for like regular obedience, civilian type training, whew, that's, that's sad. I mean, I did canine for police dogs for 20 something years actively and I don't, we've never strung a dog up like that. Besides training police canines, Tibbetts now also provides basic obedience training for dogs. That's borderline abuse and just excessive control. At, at, when I was watching the dogs go, just watching the demeanors and the way they were acting, you're not going to get, you, the dogs can't learn. They're incapable of learning at that point because they're on, on a shutdown mode because they, they don't understand what, I didn't understand what they were trying to the exercise that they were trying to do. Not a good looking video. It, it, it looks pretty horrific. Gonzalez reported the case to the Rapids Parish Sheriff's Office. It's why Sheriff Mark Wood said they have now launched an investigation into the Canine Academy and its owner, Tina Frey. Uh, this morning arriving early, we started receiving calls uh, advising us of the uh, video, uh, which to that point, my guys looked at the video uh, we starting an investigation is what we're doing at this point. By forcing her to the ground, ugly like that, and then popping her up, um, to me it looked like the person that was handling didn't know what they were doing. Unfiltered with Karen called and texted Cypress Arrow and Frey for any comment, but no one answered or returned the calls or texts. Since then, many other dog owners have reached out saying they too have pulled their dogs out of Cypress Arrow. She just likes to cuddle and um, give you kisses and get as close to you as she can. As for Yazzie, she is back at home, continuing to serve her purpose. 
My oldest has autism and our dogs are support to him. So they're more than just, you know, animals that we um, keep when my kids are down or whatever. They go to our dogs and, you know, cuddle with them or take them in and bathe them or get them ready to spend the night with them and stuff. So they mean a lot to our family. It's also why Gonzalez says she won't stop fighting, ensuring these four-legged babies do have a voice. I say that I did trust you with my babies, and no matter what I have to do, I will make sure that you never get your hands on another dog to abuse them. In Denham Springs, with Unfiltered with Kieran, I'm Kieran Chawla.